Good, right, you're here. Oh, thank God, I need to chat. <sighs> Lucifer, we don't have an appointment. Well, something absolutely terrible has happened. Actually, it's horrific. For the second time, a woman has thrown me out of her house. Okay, I'm sorry. <sighs> Lucifer. I mean, I'm beginning to think that the, the detective has some sort of a biological dysfunction. Lucifer. I mean, I appeal to the virile urge of all women. Uh, certainly you can attest to that, right? <sighs> Lucifer. Right. Lucifer. Right. Lucifer. Lucifer, no! <sighs> Lucifer! Lucifer! This is George. George, Lucifer. Lucifer, George. George. George Mulray, 2447 Williamsburg Avenue. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness, your wife is Lucinda, and you've got a neighbor named Melvin. Who the hell are you? A friend. So, right now, as we speak, your wife, Lucinda, is engaged in sexual contact with Melvin. What? Mel's dick is in your wife. <laughs> oh my god, what? Oh, credit where credit's due, my boy. God certainly has nothing to do with this one. But, if you leave right now, and I mean right now, and drive like hell, you can catch him in the act, all sticky-fingered. How much time is left in this session with old George? 45 minutes. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. She thinks that you're in therapy for another 45 minutes. Go over there! Claim the throne. I, I, I can't. George, George, look at me. She loves the way he parts his hair. She said that to you once, hasn't she? That she wanted you to part your hair like that. <coughs> that bothered you, didn't it? Go, George. Vaya con Dios, Jorge! I'm so sorry about the interruption. I truly am. But when George goes and sees Lucinda, oh, the trauma is going to guarantee you a lifetime customer. You can thank me later. Just what I need. Lucifer, sit down. Mm. Thought you'd never okay. ask. So tell me what is going on. Okay, if I understand this correctly, you said you were thrown out of a woman's house. Whose house and why is that so horrific? Uh, it's not just anyone's house, it's the detective. I've helped her out on so many cases. She needs me. She needs me more than ever, but she refuses me over and over and over again. She's not attracted to this body. I mean, I appeal to all women and some men. I had a foursome last night. <laughs> but yet, she refuses me over and over and over. She's the only one who has ever refused me in hell or L.A. I simply don't understand. The detective seems like a lovely woman. Ugh. Lovely woman, listen to yourself. Of course she's a lovely woman, but she's human. How can she refuse my charms? I mean, is this thing not working? Is it not on? Uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, it, it's definitely... Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, okay. Um, but, however, Lucifer, okay, here's the thing. It's not that you're afraid that you don't have power over Chloe. It's that you're afraid that she, doesn't, that she has power over you and neither is true. No? No. People do not have power over us. We give it to them. You have to take your power back. 
You know, my love, I really hope this is going somewhere. You think she's nothing special, but I believe you put her on a pedestal. Okay, you need to get to know her warts and all. And I am so sure that she has some. So, demystify her by bringing her back down to your level. <laughs> demystify her by bringing her down to my level. You know, you're right. You are right. It's not her. It's me. I need to do like I always have. Which, historically speaking, does not work out well for mankind nine times out of ten. Good. So you understand. Yes. Yes, I do. Absolutely. In fact, now it seems so simple. It's almost childish. I need to have sex with her. No, no, Lucifer, that's not what I said. No, 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 no. You're a genius. You are worth every penny. Or whatnot. I value our time together. I truly do. I mean, it, this, it, it makes perfect sense. I mean, what better way to forget about someone than to just have sex with them? Right? Right. Good -o. Yes. No, no. Yes. Lucifer, Lucifer, stop. I'm ready to get paid. Come here. Payment next time, love. I promise. Thank you.